So, how do I think this is all going to resolve? Finding out about the toys being human is a big, big deal, right? You know, people have talked about the, um, the overall riding pattern. The straw hats get to a, an island. They separate. They have separate adventures and end up, you know, linking up towards the end, right? They defeat the bad guy. They have a big party, usually a feast. Sometimes dancing, singing, stuff like that. Then they F off and go sailing again, right? That's the basic overall pattern. Something else I'm noticing, though, is like every place I've been going lately, uh, one segment of the population has been getting oppressed. In um, the um, Ice and Fire Island. What the hell was the name of that story arc? It's, the names escape me. You know what I mean. The Ice and Fire Island. We had the, the minions the, the being oppressed. You know, the pirates that were working, you know, for Caesar. That had gotten their legs swapped out. They were being oppressed. And then, of course, the kids were being oppressed, right? Before that, you had the, the Fishman Island. The people being oppressed all over the place, right? You had the Fishman's district was being oppressed, but then the entire island's being oppressed by the humans. This story arc, we've got the humans who turned into toys were oppressed. There's a common theme there. People are being screwed over in various ways and usually by magic. Again, I've been saying the end game of this series, I bet you anything, is get magic the F out of this world. Get it out of here. Magic is destructive. It's hurting people. It has improved very few lives. There's very few people that are better off in this world because of magic. Very few. It needs to go, man. Like, it's just causing too much damage. It's causing too much chaos. It's causing too much pain. Now you've got families being separated from each other and don't even remember this fact. Humans being forced into toy bodies, but they, they apparently remember. So they're cursed with the knowledge. If they speak on it, they get thrown into the scrap heap. Magic's got to go, man. But uh, anyway, that seems to be the overall point. Like every island we go to, magic is in some way oppressing some segment of the population. These fairies, I don't really know their full deal yet, but I have a feeling they've been oppressed. They can't even be seen. They're so afraid of what would happen. I thought they were mischievous, but I think they're afraid. I don't know. This thing with the the toys, that got to me. It's, it's horrible, man. I don't know which is worse. I guess it's worse to be in a toy body and not and have to play that role. And not speak on it or you'll be thrown in the scrap heap. Because the other side, they'll have a longing inside of them. But they won't know like where it comes from. They won't know why they're unhappy because they don't remember ever having a husband and father. They don't remember having a boyfriend. They don't remember having a sibling or whoever, you know, whatever relationships with people that are left behind are. It reminds me of the Beauty and the Beast uh, live action remake, which I think is excellent. I think I really like it a lot. I think it's an improvement over the animated film, and I love the animated film. But the people who were turned, who were working at the, the Beast castle, who got turned into furniture, their family members, because they would leave their house and go to work every day. They just happened to be on the job that day, and then they were turned into furniture. The family members they left behind forgot that they existed. Anybody who was turned into furniture, like the wife, one guy has a wife, they don't remember them. But they remembered that there was a hole, there was a longing, and then they were sad, they couldn't move on. There was something they were missing. And I think it was like 10 years, 10, 15 years, they're going about their lives sad. There's an unfillable hole in the center of their gut. They're missing something, they don't know what it is or how to find it. And it was because their loved one had been cursed and turned into something else. Now, we haven't, we haven't seen any sign of that here. My headcanon, though, is that girlfriend who's with a new man feels that. And the mother and child feel that. Even though they, present, they all present a happy face or a suspicious face or whatever. My headcanon is that they feel that long. That would make it so much worse. So I don't know. I think it's horrible. So another, it's more nightmare fuel we can throw on the fire, right? One thing this author knows how to do is make you feel bad for people. <laughs>
put put people in these horrific scenarios, right? All right, you know where we are? You know where we're going. Three, two, one. Wrecked. I'm ready for this fight to be over. Like I told you, the gladiator fight club shit. It's it's okay. This isn't much different than any other fights they get into. There's some about it that, you know, the fact that it's a spectator sport kind of takes it out of me as far as my enthusiasm goes. Although the stakes here are real, at least. Like, people are dying. Keep talking shit, old man. That's not healthy on the heart. <laughs> I don't know. Don't really care. Whatever the shit was, it's older than me. Because Luffy's what, 19? This shit happened 11 years before he was born, man. He don't care. I like his little uh, tractor, or... Uh, Tracks, I guess. It's like tank tracks, right? Yeah. Man, that girlfriend and, and boyfriend, they look demonic, man. They were, I didn't like that look on her face. <laughs> wonder if that means they're still around. Or just he brought them one time, right? We did find out he's trying to talk to Nami. I mean, she can't, she's not answering because the, her transponder sale is probably on the ship, right? <laughs> sure you are. It's on the ship. She don't have it, man. You're wasting your ring. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not calling the wrong number. I wonder if you have to say the number to the snail and that's how it works. Because we don't see any dialing apparatus. <laughs> I like it when they get stars in their eyes. <laughs> Five hundred, five hundred of these fairies have been enslaved. Damn. <laughs> there she is, looking evil. I assume that's a girl. Let's get our fight on. Underneath green bit. So we're going to be moving anytime soon? Getting the hell out of here? Yeah. Robin's just taking all this in stride, right? It's like, well. Yeah. Less cheering, more marching. I guess they're not going. All the people cheering. Don't get scared now. Hey, man. Now we're talking. That's a lot better way to get there. Good shit. They said no, man. Or didn't really say no, but they didn't say yes. Airport. The hell? You guys got you a little tiny airport. We can't use it. <laughs> I see. Well, you guys have thought of everything, haven't you? 
Pink B. They did mention Pink B, didn't they? <laughs> Yellow Cub and Pink B. You know, the bugs look happy to be doing this. The bees do not. They don't look very happy. Careful where you step. Of course, that's the case everywhere. Yeah. He's a leader of a, a, a rhinoceros beetle. That's the evil one. Um, hornets. Ew. Don't fail us. She may not be the evil one, but she looks just like her. Biting. Twenty passenger bus, huh? <laughs> it's a fox. <laughs> That's a twenty passenger bus. <laughs> Hey, man, now we're talking. Hey, that is a couch for a king. That's very relaxing. Don't lean back too hard, though. Yeah. They even accept, co accept compliments. I guess you could say they're flattery operated. Yeah. Him being hardcore cracks me up. You're tiny. You still live with your grandmother. He's like barking orders like he's really hardcore. So are the fox is flying or are they walking? It looks like they're walking. All righty, I think we're all, all set there. Yes, Jesus, where are you coming out from? Really? Booby morning, that's what we're doing? Jesus. Yes, get out of her tits. He looks like Roshi. <laughs> Just lately, though, huh? Jesus. That's uh the void century was nine hundred years ago, wasn't it? Interesting. This is a hidden toy area. Wait, he's the commander of the ferry? I see. I guess the toys would hate Doffy, wouldn't they? Yeah. Everything happens today. <laughs> You don't know what little people means, you moron? They're also hella strong, man. They'd be useful. And took all the other shit. <laughs> That's Zoro. <laughs> He wants to watch the fight. <laughs> he would have had a lot of fun in there, yes. <laughs> he would have had a lot of fun. 
incompetent. Just hanging out. <laughs> I like how Frankie has a toy on him and Zoro has a fairy on him. <laughs> Well, shit. Are you crying? I see. Not Boneland. He's an idiot. <laughs> uh, you're where you need to be. Too late. <laughs> She's furious. Yes. These two are still fighting, man. Idiots. Oh, that was a nice transition. They don't typically do shit like that on this show. Good work, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> He's not coming off that point anytime soon. Really? We're doing this shit again? If at first you don't succeed, knock the top off balance, man. That's the way to handle this shit. Yeah, damn you. <laughs> That's right. Right in his gut. <laughs> Get him out of here. In this long national nightmare. The fight is over. I hope. <laughs> Spin your ass away from here. Bye bye. <laughs> Whip him. He is a tough son of a bitch, man. You knocked his ass out of his spin and up in the air. That was a nice transition again. And we're still doing this crap. Huh. Fair enough. He's absent minded as hell, man. Huh. Oh, shit. That dude sounds like he's throwing up. What a weird ass laugh. Yeah, he's just a small fry. That's quite the camera angle there. <laughs> he is in big trouble, man. Quit posing. I feel like we did this before. He was slicing up trees earlier, a few episodes ago. Great. What? I'm busy. Go ahead and kill him. Squeeze the heart. He's going to shove it up your ass. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I thought he shambled uh, him and... I thought shambles was body swapping. 
I guess he swapped himself for one of the tree trunks. Okay. Gotcha. But uh, I thought he was going to body swap Caesar and, and Daffy. That would have been hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You're going to change her again? Yeah, her mouth is jacked up, man. Shit. She messed up your weather stick. Great. Oh, boy. Yeah. I was wondering if she's the one who did the toy thing. I don't think it is. I don't think she is. Okay. Right. But not her. Just to clarify. Your art sucks. She got too close, man. <laughs> I wonder if uh, Chopper can change form like he changes form. If he could change form and what that would look like if he did. Yep. It's pretty sad. Because you victimize us? <laughs> More importantly, <laughs> I love the way they talk. Your men are wrecked. Um, who the hell is calling? Oh, that's uh, law. Yeah, I can't help you. I did. Tony Chopper. I don't care what's going on over <laughs> He's got his own problems. <laughs> he don't care. That sounds like a you problem. Man, that snail is tired, man. Fair enough, but uh, not going to happen. Clank. <laughs> You've received your orders. Nobody is sailing the, the, the Thousand Sunny right now. <laughs> yeah, because everything has to be about you, Nami. <laughs> You're being completely ignored, yes. I know that pisses you off. <laughs> I don't know how he's getting out of this, man. Shit. Right in the back. Boy, you dead as hell. You're done. Nobody's coming to help you because everybody's going to Dress Rosa, right? They're leaving this island and going there. There is no cavalry. Why are you dipping? He actually cares about that. Well, he doesn't. He cares about what Caesar can do for him. <laughs> you gloating bitch. He knew what he was doing when he did that, of course. And then the Navy's waiting in case you win. It's a pretty good trap. Most likely he dies in the Coliseum. If he doesn't, he walks outside and the Navy arrests him. According to you, right? Like, we know it's not going to be that easy. But it's, it's a nice trap. <laughs> it was over before it started.
Give up's not my dictionary. Well, shit. Luffy would be fine. I think he can beat the old man. He can win the final round. Escape the Navy. But like I said, it's a good trap. Like, if you're in Duffy's point of view, it's a very good trap. The bait was perfect, and you got it all set up for him to lose. This trap isn't as good, but it feels like it's going to be, actually be successful. I don't see how long it's out of this. Like, he's, now you got the Navy. The only, his only hope is if the Navy fights Duffy, like I've been saying for five, six episodes now. They fight each other, he has a chance. And it could, because Duffy wants to kill him, and the Navy wants to take him in. You know, the blind man. So I can see them fighting over that. That's his only hope. Otherwise, you know, screwed, blued, and tattooed. 